In this video we're going to take a look at measurement applications for computer science. A measurement application is one where data is recorded and processed but the data is not used as part of a larger system to change the environment. So for example recording temperature over a long period of time. So it's not making the room hotter or colder based on the temperature, it's just recording and storing information from the sensor. So what's a sensor? A sensor is a device that is designed to measure a specific environmental condition such as pressure or temperature. Now these measurements are taken at regular intervals. The measurements are in analog form. Computers do not work in analog and so the measurements that the sensor takes may be passed through an analog to digital converter. Now key points about sensors. A sensor does not process any data, that's what the computer is for. A sensor cannot make any choices or decisions. A sensor does not choose to measure the environment. It cannot tell other components what to do. It just reads a variable in the environment and passes that data on. Now the list of sensors that you need to understand are temperature, light sensors, pressure, moisture, water level, movement, proximity, switches or buttons, pH level, gas and magnetic fields. Do you want to take a look at the table on the screen? Now, what happens to this data? Now, data logging is the process of measuring a variable at intervals over a period of time. What I mean by that is it's not just measuring it once. Now, this data might be stored in a local backing store, such as a hard drive, to be recovered at a later date, or it might be transmitted to a local or remote computer to be stored. But ultimately, the data will be processed by a computer, and the result of the processing is graphs and charts, which can be used in a report. Now, why use a computer? Why use sensors? Well, computers don't need to take breaks. They can log data all day, every day without stopping. They can take much more accurate readings than humans can. We can make mistakes. They are more reliable than humans as they will not forget to take a reading. They can take readings a lot more frequently, talking thousands of times in a second if necessary. Since the log data is already in the computer, it can be analyzed more quickly and easily um, drawn, like graphs and things. And data logging systems can operate in difficult environments such as the Arctic, top of a mountain, a volcano, a weather station in the air, something like that. Now here's an example on screen of how it may work. So we've got a temperature sensor which takes a reading. That is then passed to the ADC, which is passed to the computer system, which then takes that data and stores it in a storage device. Now, where do we use measurement applications? We use them in scientific experiments, such as an experiment could be set up and left to run with a data logging system measuring things like temperature of liquids. Weather stations are placed in remote areas to collect data about rainfall, temperature, wind speed, and wind direction. This data needs to be gathered all day, every day can then be used by weather forecasters or scientists to predict the weather or to find out any environmental changes. Then environmental monitoring. Scientists are very concerned about the effect that humans have on the environment, so we use a lot of computer-based data logging to gather the evidence and we can use this evidence in simulations. Now if you was given a question about measurement applications, a model for, um, sort of answer would be put the sensor in place depending on the scenario so that would your answer would change the sensor then takes the reading at intervals it is sent to the computer the data from the readings are converted from analog to digital via an ADC the microprocessor or the computer processes the value and stores the value in a file and the values are used to automatically produce a chart or graph as part of a report or readout an example the temperature sensor is placed in the beaker the temperature sensor reads the temperature at regular intervals the temperature data is converted from analog to digital using an ADC. The temperature data is then sent to the microprocessor. The microprocessor processes the temperature values and then stores the temperature values in a file. Later, the temperature values from the file are used to automatically produce a chart or graph as a part of a report or a readout. So hopefully you got a good understanding of measurement applications, you understand how they work, where they're used, and you have a good understanding of sensors and analog to digital converters. I will see you in the next video.